Hello, hello there, and welcome back to War Thunder. Today, I want to have a very first impression, a very first look at the Blackburn Firecrest, which is the British second clan activity reward vehicle that I want to have a look at. So, there is a tank, a plane, and a ship to choose from, and out of the three, the Firecrest is by far the cheapest, or as well if you want to buy it for gold eagles straight away. The question is if it is worth it, if it is really, you know, anything special, if it has any sort of hidden gems, etc, etc. And uh, it is a little bit of a mixed bag, I have to say. And again, it is a very first look. It's not a review, it's just, you know, me spading it. And yes, I got this thing and I spaded it. And let me tell you that the stock grind in RRB with this thing is... It could be worse. But it definitely could be better as well. So what is this thing? What makes it so special? Well, before we talk about this, I want to show you this scene here where I try to do my old shenanigans torping the U-boat bunker. And yes, that is something that you can do. So the dropping procedure begins with a look at the drop speed and it is 443 kilometers per hour of the 18 inch Mark 15 torpedo. That is not bad. It also has 224 kilograms of TNT filler. Now I did this numerous times before with the American Mark, 14, Mark 13 slash 44 where I could one shot this space. Let's have a cinematic drop. Yes, beautiful. And then I try to get the hell out of there. But in the turn, obviously, my oil gets hit. And then the rest of the fuel tank gets ignited as well. And because it's lucky me, the fire actually burns through. And I want to just simply see if the torpedo hits or not. My engine is dead. And as it turns out, I only can hit a third of the bombing point. And then I get shot down by the destroyer. Big oof. Now, the rest of the loadout when it comes to the payload is either two 500 pound bombs or eight RP3 rockets that I just completely missed here on this ME264. But there is another aspect, and that is the main armament, the guns, the machine guns rather. Two M3 Brownings, and they extremely efficiently set stuff on fire. The brake modules, the pilot snipe, they just are with the, they they effectively behave like 30 millimeter ap incendiary shells that's just what they do uh, and, and i think that this is just a showcase of what's currently wrong with 50 cals the problem is you only have two and with their insane rate of fire you easily go through the 600 rounds of ammunition that they have in no time and then that's it. So the Firecrest is a derivative of the Firebrand, which sits at battle rating 4.3 in the tech tree and has not just uh, more loadout options, overall it has just better combinations as well as 420mm with 800 rounds. So you actually can see where the problem with this plane is. It is kind of a one-trick pony and as I said, the stock run is pretty, pretty insane. So, after not even four minutes, you have heard everything that there is to know about this plane. And let me just quickly recap it so you get the full picture. First of all, the plane comes stock. Second of all, the plane doesn't have a premium modifier at all. The third is that you can get it either with gold needles or as the cheapest of the three clan activity reward vehicles and the final verdict is it's just simply not worth it the loadouts by themselves are not terrible but they are just not good enough you don't have enough of them and of your normal firepower your gun firepower if you will 250 cals even though there are m3s just don't cut it and the lack of ammunition with only 600 rounds again just don't cut it you have to be hyper precise with your shots you have to really play uh, and uh, also act and react to upcoming threats in advance and the flight performance well it's not the worst that there is it doesn't really fall out of the sky but it's just not really good enough to really contest fighters 
uh, maybe you can shoot down a bomber here and there but then that's about it overall the plane just has too many restrictions so now let's go to the final gameplay and finally we got with the last rocket salvo our first light pillbox kill yes i'm not used to the rp3 rockets and i think that the two 500 pound bombs are also not good enough for any certain engagement but again it's better than nothing but that's not really advertising a plane very well is it here i just want to farm the triple uh, a positions and normally if i would have a plane with 50 cows such as a hellcat or a thunderbolt etc you have just so many 50 cows with so much ammunition that it actually can aim for the roof with 50 cows and destroy the pillboxes and those are ground units that actually matter for your team uh, unlike the triple a positions although one could argue that the midfield triple a currently is way too strong and uh, i die very often to it at the moment so now i'm down to 461 rounds that's roughly uh, a quarter of my ammunition gone and uh, well there is the last triple a position uh, let's just farm it while we are at it and then i want to i want to join the furball again initially the climbing duel with uh, other fighters especially the axis fighters the italians or the german beer for nines are very effective at climbing and uh, you don't have that great performance to really be able to withstand countless boom and zoom attacks countless head-ons i mean you can risk it you can get away with it once in a while but it's not really a reliable tactic it's not what you play the plane for Again, I am now within the midst of the enemy, if you will, and there is the B of 109. And the plane in this match is, com is more or less stuck. It is more or less stuck. We get with the first hit, a critical hit in. And the plane just doesn't really react to my control input. And uh, finally, we get him. And those were like three hits. One of them was a critical hit. The next one saw his wing off those 50 cals hurt a lot they do a lot and i mean a lot of damage then there is this focke wolf and i have now 238 rounds left that's just above a third of my total ammunition count and you could see how quickly you run through it so this is something that can just uh, screw you over big time Again, we could here see the flaps in action and how easily they rip off. Again, the plane has air brakes, which are very useful and uh, allow you to land really nicely. We get another hit in. Sadly, he actually can pull off pulling out of the dive. And that is another critical hit. And that was again on the right wing. So now he is turning another hit those are all single hits apparently and i try my best here and then i saw his right wing clean off so those were then uh, the two kills that was the best match that i could uh, pull off in terms of kills but in other battles well you know it's allied teams after all either you crush the enemy big time but most of the time you get crushed and so that was then the end of the match now let's have a quick look at the post battle results and see if that was actually worth it because i'm really curious how that works out in rrb remember five triple a positions and two players first in team and for our trouble we got not even 50,000 civil lines and 3682 modification research points and that in rrb and that was the best game that i could pull off at that uh spading status of the plane 2323 score points that's not bad but it could be better and there you could see the upgrade way i have gone primarily for the weapons loadout because 
this is where you earn your civil lines and your RP with. So that's the fire crest. A mediocre plane could be worse, could be definitely better. Uh, it's just uh, it doesn't have the long breath. That's the point. And that's it for me today. So thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give a like if it did. Subscribe if you want to see more. And we'll see each other on the battlefields, on the waves and in the skies of War Thunder.